Nazi solid turns to Nazi liquid. Nasty. And here, solid water, ice, turns to liquid water, and then gaseous water. So the small s, l, and g in parentheses are three of the four state symbols that you need to know, at least in SL. So the periodic table has solids, liquids, and gases in it. The black color implies solids. And you can see that most of the metals, the ones that are on the left-hand side of the staircase, are black are, and are indeed solids, uh, which must mean that they must have strong bonds between them. What are the bonds in metals? A metallic bond, one of the strongest bonds you can get. On the right-hand side of this staircase are the non-metals. There are some black ones, like carbon, which implies solid, blue, which implies liquid, and red ones, which implies gases. Now, I've never seen xenon, but even if it wasn't colour-coded, I'd know it was a gas. How would I know? Because group 18 is the noble gases, and they're unreactive. You need to know that there's only two liquids, arguably, on a periodic table at room temperature and pressure, and that is mercury, a liquid metal, and bromine, a liquid non-metal. Why is mercury a liquid? No idea. Bromine, ah, that's to do with the uh, London dispersion forces. Go see the new Star Wars movie. So here is an incomplete list of some substances, and you'll need to know their state symbols. Aluminium and iron are both metals, and all metals are solids, except for mercury, which is a liquid. Sodium chloride, common salt, and calcium carbonate are both solids. In fact, all ionic compounds are solids. Very strong bonds. Helium is a noble gas. It's a gas. And the next few are simple nonpolar molecules with very low London dispersion forces. So that's why they won't stick together to form a liquid or a solid. They're gases too. Bromine is a little quirky. That's a liquid. It has more electrons than chlorine, the gas, and more London dispersion forces, so it's going to be more sticky. But sulfur appears to be a bit of a paradox. Sulfur looks like it's monatomic, just one S on its own. So how is it a solid? Ah, it's actually S8, which has a high molecular mass, and it's going to be a solid. But the IB normally just puts S. I have no idea why. So this is the classic experiment that involves all of the four state symbols that you need to know. This is uh, chalk, come a little closer. It says here, uh, uh, may cause sneezing. Okay. We put some of this onto the paper here. So that's a solid. I've got hydrochloric acid, that's aqueous, that means it's dissolved in water. So I'm going to use a technique called uh, <clears throat> tea bagging here. I'm going to make a little tea bag out of the chalk that's a solid, pop that there. So you're wondering where's the gas, where's the liquid? Well give me a second here. So that's the aqueous acid. Pop in my tea bag. That delays the reaction until I can put that on top. Give it a shake. And there's my gas coming out here. So that's a gas and another product of the reaction is a liquid which is water. That's all I've got to say. It's not very exciting. Switch it off. So, writing out the symbol equation, calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid goes to calcium chloride, water, and those bubbles were carbon dioxide. Putting in the state symbols, and notice that the fourth one is now there, AQ, which means aqueous, dissolved in water. Solids, liquids and gases. Sounds like uh, the first lesson at proctology school. Ah. So behind two locked doors, there's a, there's a locked cupboard hidden away from everyone. What's in here? Every chemistry department has one. Yes, this is the poisons. Stuff we bought that probably we, we wish we hadn't. But there we go, from years ago. So what's this one here? It's taped up. Yes, sodium cyanide. That's a solid. It's an ionic compound made of sodium ions and cyanide ions. So, probably dissolves in water to make AQ, and if you add it to acid, it makes hydrogen cyanide gas. 
So there's three states right there. Uh, what's the, what do you do if you get poisoned? Bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. Yes, that's it. You're really done for. Here's some classier stuff. Silver cyanide. There we go. Purified. Again, that's poison. Uh, again, it's a solid substance. All right, let's lock this up and hide it again. 